Hey there, Magus Academy students! This is your headmaster, Professor Magus, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Last time, we got Cecilia, her final force ability, trying to find the Gemini corpse, which is actually, spoiler alert, our next main dungeon. I did not look at the walkthrough. Let me show you where it is. Go up north of Quartzheim and then turn, make a sharp turn around here. Or here. Wait. Now, wait, yep, game? Now I can say it. We're here to Gemini's corpse. I can't believe I was that much of an idiot. So, some of you may be thinking, let's go down. Well, I'm saying, no. What I'm saying here is we're gonna blow up this wall right here and open up this treasure. Sorceress, Sorceress and the Warriors. I am Equitus, the guardian of the sword. My will and my powers have been separated. My powers are sealed in a temple surrounded by an imposing mountain range. As payment for reclaiming my powers, I shall give thee the secret of my sword technique. And Jack's heart fills with the images of the Sword of Equitus. And obtains a fast draw hint. That humming was actually kind of annoying. Anyway, now we can go downstairs, and Gemini's Corpse has quite an array of mechanics and new enemies. Such as Iron Maiden. Run to the hills. Run for your life. Actually, I shouldn't try doing that considering I've recently been recovered from being sick and a critical hit. I don't think I'll have the chance to, um. Never mind, lucky card. Because I wanted to use a lucky card while both Iron Maidens are alive so I could get double XP from both of them. I think it works that way either way. I don't know. You're just gonna do... I was gonna about to say you're gonna do Zilch with the critical, but okay. Okie dokie. So before going into this room, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow up this wall. Wow, go me. Good job, Richard. You are a genius. Good frickity job. Anyway, so... The mechanics of this dungeon is using the jewels off of these, um, sarcophagus's chests uh, to move around inside the dungeon. So, oh, we only had one measly Iron Maiden, nothing to use the lucky card on for, so, uh, let's go downstairs. I was right, so, ooh, there's a, uh, Explodey treasure chest over there, which we are going to be getting a little bit later in the dungeon. So we're going to be heading. Let's. Have some new enemies of Valkyries. They're ugly green palette swapped versions of the harpies, which like to run away. Missing. Don't make me use lock on. Oh, don't you dare pickpocket. Okay, heal berry. I'm not gonna cry about that. I'm probably gonna have to use a lock on of a hand cannon. If I have to. Uh, maybe not. Just stop stealing from me. Okay. And Cecilia kills the Valkyrie. Very nice. How much does she get? Thousand and get booty shake. Long praise be to the booty shake. Brought down by the chicken god. Booty. What? I am. Um, I mean, I'm. Um, <clears throat> Yay, we won. <laughs> we got our heel berry back. <laughs> Ooh. There's a black pass. 
I'm not gonna make a joke about that. I'm gonna get shot. Anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me. What we're gonna be doing here is getting a magic carry and kaboom. And then there's a on the wall right there, and then we are going to move the jewel right there. And in that room upstairs there is this guy. The phaser, which is gonna be really, really nice. So we are going to go ahead and take this jewel back because this room no longer has a purpose for us, so we're gonna It would have been funny if it was uh a straight across run. But we're gonna use hand pan and I'm gonna step it away. That's a lucky card right there, just in case you guys didn't use the um duplication sheet like I did and leave a jewel right there so we can head downstairs and then you know what just for the sake of saving time we're gonna go ahead and do that get a mega berry and new enemies dual goal um pretty Cool palette swaps of the critters, if I uh, if I do want to say so myself. They like to paralyze, don't they? Okay, nope, not today, sir. I'll go ahead and show off the um. The phaser once we get to our uh. Get to the end of the dungeon to fight a boss, and you like to cuss me. Okay, Jack is, uh, Jack is the only one awake, so you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do Sonic Buster. We haven't used that spell in a while, so slash. Okay, we got both of them, and then let's go ahead and take you out. That's a little critter, ain't ya? I could have gotten... 3,000 XP for those, but... Eh. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up super quick. And then you are a pouch. What do you do? Okay, so 25% of the time you will double yellow, which is actually pretty OP for uh, for this playthrough, especially if I'm going to be constantly using um, lucky cards to uh, to reduce the numbers that I had. And then we're going to go ahead and use a base on. Ah, uh, why not both of them? Not necessary, but I want to do it. So we'll take both of those. Okay, new enemy, the urchin bug. Um, let's go ahead. You know what? Let's kill the urchin bugs. They like to go fast, don't they? Okay. Wonder how our luck is doing. Maybe I'll go to Rosetta Town after this dungeon and get some small flowers and we got a little hit very nice can we get another one nope okay okay I see how it is ooh almost 500 damage on that ooh there we go there's a critical hit I want there's the damage I was looking for And let's see how much you do. 320 damage. Eh, that's nothing. But they do give us 3,000 money. Okay. I know I'm healing like after every battle, but I, I knew I'm being annoying with it. Just because I can. Okay, let's see. Get two jewels, and then we're gonna be heading upstairs. Um, I don't need to 
come back here anymore, don't I? So I'll go ahead and take that jewel right out of your chest. And then we're gonna go ahead. And fight a new enemy! Get up on the Hydra's back! No. Totally different play let's play viewers. Ooh, disease breath that won't be able to Oh shoot. We won't be able to heal ourselves now. No good. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna use Cecilia to cast Restore on herself and Jack while Jack and Rudy assault the Hydra. And you're not gonna counter attack, that's fine. And I could have used Medicine, but eh. It doesn't cost much MP to use. Good job on that dodge, Rudy. Good job on that dodge. Now slay that Hydra. Eh, not quite. I wonder what his elemental weakness is. If you guys know, let me know, but it doesn't matter because the Hydra's slain! Huzzah! We got some pretty decent amount of dough from that. Okay, so we're gonna keep Silly out using vases. And then we're going to be putting that right here. Because if we went there, then it wouldn't matter because that gate was locked. So, I almost got my ass handed to me by those little critter pallet swaps, whatever the hell they call. I hate those things so much faster combination of paralysis and sleep. It was not a good time. Anyway. We could keep going. But there's a whole lot more dungeon ahead of us and I believe this is the only save pentagram in this area. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Wild Arms. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and comments in the comment section below. And follow me on all points of social media. And if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy Magus Academy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that being said, this is your headmaster, Professor Magus, signing off. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day.